As the film begins, we see a girl running in the jungle. She was in a lot of pain, which indicated that she was running away from something. She makes it to the road somehow, stops the truck and asks for assistance. Then she awakens from her dream. Her name was Marie and she was on her way to her parents' house with her best friend Alexia. When she was depicted as injured, it was not actually real but a dream. And she also shares her dream with her best friend Alexia. She says she was running away injured from somebody. Alexia who lived far away from her family and goes to meet them at every weekend. And today was weekend that's why she was going to see them. Then we see Alexia family who were already excited to see her. There was a weird truck nearby their home from which a man drops off cutted throat of a girl. It was much darkened now but Marie and Alexia didn't reach home yet. In order to save time, they follow a shortcut which passed through a bad road. While going from that road Alex sees someone in a cornfield. She makes the car to stop and follows him. Marie also follows her but she lost Alexia. She gets too much confused. Then she sees that car was started. And there was Alexia in the car. Actually she was pranking with her. They reached to Alexia home. Her family consisted of father, mother, young brother and a dog. Alexia asks Marie that she shows her the house. As she was much tired, so after meeting with parents, she fell asleep. But Marie couldn't sleep. She goes out for smoking. Then she comes to the room and starts listening music, that doorbell rings. When Alexia's father goes out to check, he finds a strange killer. He strikes a razor to Alex's father's face. And Marie was seeing all this from up. The killer enters their home and kills the dog first. Then he fixes Alex's father head and stares and cuts it away with the table. And her father dies after this. Now Alex's mother wakes up. When she comes down to find her husband, she finds his dead body there. The killer was standing near the dead body and surely she was his next target. He was approaching towards Alex's mother who shouts out loudly and Marie gets very frightened. Instead of being panicked she uses her intelligence and arranges the guest room in such a manner that no one could assume of someone living. And killer should understand that there is nobody there except that family. After arranging all the things in manner she hides under the bed. The killer comes there and after seeing the settings assumes that nobody lives there. Then he goes back and now he goes towards Alex's room. On the other hand Marie tries to find mobile phone in Alexia's parent room that someone comes there. She hides in a cupboard in hurry. That was no other but Alexia's mother, who was still alive but the killer follows her, cuts her throat and kills her. All of this was taking place in front of Marie, who is extremely sensitive to all of this. After the killer goes she comes back and finds that Alexia's mother was alive. She wanted to say something but she couldn't say anything except why. Then she goes to Alexia's room and finds that Alexia was tied. She tries to free her up that they listen Alexia's brother voice who ran towards cornfield. But killer was also following him and we see that Tom couldn't save himself from killer. He kills him too. Now Alexia's whole family was died. She was left alone alive which showed that killer doesn't want to kill her. Seeing her family dying Alexia's condition gets very bad. Marie tries to condole her and comes down to find the mobile phone. Though she found the phone but killer had cut all the connections, so in vain. The killer carries Alexia and throws her in the truck. As she was best friend with Marie, so Marie would never let her die this way. She comes to the kitchen and picks a butcher knife. The killer hears off the sound. He comes back to check the home and Marie takes advantage of the opportunity and comes back to Alexia. She couldn't free her up and the killer comes back. Marie was ready to attack the killer but he doesn't appear in front of her. He closes the back door and locks it up. Killer never knew that Marie was inside. He only thought of Alexia. After killing three people very brutally, he was leaving very calmly. Alexia was very sad because of her family and she was weeping constantly. Now it was obvious that Marie could be caught as Alexia was weeping. She comforts her by saying that we would be released from here safely. Marie tries to break the lock of the truck and she becomes succeeded. Now she was looking for the opportunity so that they could move out safely. The killer stops at the gas station, providing them with a golden opportunity. They didn't want to blow the chance. Alexia receives a butcher knife from Marie and approached toward the store silently. Marie goes to the store and requests the worker to call the police. But before the worker had understood anything, the killer comes there. And Marie hides up. When killer comes to the counter the worker sees blood in his hands. And he understands the story. The worker was about to pick his gun but killer asks for drink. The worker behaves as if he knows nothing. He behaves as unknown and goes to fetch the drink for him. 
the killer was very clever, he understood his expressions and kills him too. The killer also understood that he was trying to hide somebody. Marie runs towards the washroom but he couldn't find her. He doesn't waste time and moves from there. After that Marie informs the police and picks the car and gun of worker and follows him. After traveling some distance, Marie finds the truck and follows him. The killer leaves the main road and enters to the narrow road. Marie also follows him, but the truck disappears and she doesn't understand that where it has gone, in which direction it has moved. Then headlight appears to her back and killer reaches there. He had noticed her before. Marie takes out the gun but unfortunately it had no bullets, and the bullets were in his hands which means it was his plan. He had seen Marie in the washroom, as he saw her picture in the house so he recognizes her. When Marie doesn't find any way she accelerates her car at full speed, and her car crashes up. She knew that killer would follow him. She comes down the car and hide in a greenhouse nearby. She needed to protect herself and her best friend now that so much time had passed. That's why she makes a weapon by herself and finds out the killer. But the killer who was really very lever grabs her and throws her down. And finally he was about to kill her that she hits his head by using a stone. Then she attacks him with her weapon and keeps hitting him until she finds he's dead. After killing him she takes a calm breath and after some time police arrives there. Police checks out the CCTV footage there and finally they know about the killer. And the most unbelievable thing was that the killer was nobody but Marie. Actually there was no killer. The whole family of Alexia was killed by Marie. That's why Alexia's mother asked why while dying. And now Alexia was crying because of Marie. Marie happily come to Alexia that she killed the killer. She assumed that by herself. Actually Marie was unknown about her other personality. And this is called personality disorder. She frees Alexia and thinks that she would be happy. But she had killed the whole family of Alexia very brutally. And Alexia never knew that when she would return to other personality that why she runs away. And finally she triggers her other personality and her other personality follows him by taking saw. Alexia approaches to the main road and seeks help from a car driver. Here Marie kills that driver with her saw and now only Alexia was left. Marie brings the saw near to her face and asks her to say that she loves her. And here we know the motive of Marie that she loved Alexia and her love turned into madness. That had bad impact on her and she never wanted anybody else for Alexia except her. And she did all this because of this and took all her family from her. Marie says that she would never let anybody come in between us. Then Alexia penetrates a wooden knife into her body. Then we see story after some time, where Marie was in mental hospital and continuously saying that nobody would come in between us. Alexia was watching her from one-way mirror and Marie had no chance to see her. But we see a weird thing here that she knew that Alexia was there. Marie liked Alexia from the beginning but Alexia never knew about this. And when we were shown that she went out for smoke and came back, and started listening to the music, but she never came back. She pressed the doorbell, Alex's father arrived, and she murdered him with a razor. And the movie ends here.